Welcome back into my front room for the third of my hymns for Holy Week. The hymn I want to share this day speaks about the amazing mercy that God has shown us and shown the whole world and also challenges us to be merciful to others as well and to delight in Christian fellowship across denominational boundaries. Now that's interesting because it's written by Frederick Faber he was an Anglican priest who became a Roman Catholic. He had a love for Wesley's hymns. He wrote a number of hymns himself. A collection of 150 of these was published. Now the, this particular hymn had a massive impact upon my life maybe 30 years ago. My mother-in-law shared it with uh, my mother. I was surprised that they knew any hymns from Christian churches because they were both Jehovah's Witnesses. But they were surprised and amazed at the way in which this grasped something of the character of God, and even as they understood it. Let me read it to you. There's a wideness in God's mercy, like the wideness of the sea. There's a kindness in his justice, which is more than liberty. There is no place where earth's sorrows are more felt than up in heaven, there is no place where earth's failings have such kindly judgment given. For the love of God is broader than the scope of human mind, and the heart of the eternal is most wonderfully kind. But we make his love too narrow by false limits of our own, and we magnify his strictness with a zeal he will not own. There is plentiful redemption in the blood that has been shed, there is joy for all the members in the sorrow of the head. If our love were but more simple, we should take him at his word, and our lives would be all gladness in the joy of Christ our Lord. Profound truths in there. Sometimes people present the Christian faith as uh, doom and gloom, as hellfire and judgment. Frederick Faber has a clearer grasp of the centre of the Christian faith being mercy. Here, in a very real way, mercy triumphs over judgment. And it should triumph over our judgmentalism, our desires to separate ourselves from brothers and sisters for no reason other than our own <coughs> particular hobby horses. When we look at this present crisis, Rather than seeing it as judgment coming from God, maybe we should see it as an opportunity for us to support and care and work with and for each other. We should support all that's being done to cope with this, with this crisis. Support medical workers, delivery staff, all the ancillary staff who do what we depend upon day by day. Let us pray. Holy Father, we pray your continued blessing upon us here in Beckenry South. Be with us, Lord, we pray. Help us to have sound judgment when we try to ask deep questions about the crisis affecting us right now. Help us to see your mercy and your love triumphing at all times. We long for the end of this crisis, Lord, when we can meet together again face to face. But until that comes, Lord, we pray that our hearts may be focused on your love, your mercy and your kindness and may we endeavour to show that to each other and to others. Pour your spirit upon us, Lord. Bless us, we pray, on this Holy Week in 2020. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>